Hi, my name is Kai Won. Today we're going to do a quick unbox video about this Feel World F6 Plus version 2. This is the version 2 6 inch version, not the version 1. This is the version 2 6 inch version, the brand new one. So in the box, we have a Velcro barn door. So first impression, pretty solid build quality. Although it's a all plastic build, but the clicky button, the quick function dial, manual dial, and no any moving part. So pretty good so far. Okay, so more paper works. And we have a micro HDMI in the box and another screen shield connector and another hot shoe extension arm. That's all. So this is my old field world monitor. This is the F6, a 5.7 inch monitor. But the only problem, <laughs> we just have one HDMI in. There are no any loop out, that kind of stuff. So I cannot just loop out a video that I can transmit to a video transmitter, that kind of stuff. So I bought this Feel World F6 Plus version 2. Wow, this looks beautiful. Look at this very narrow frame compared to my old monitor. Look at this, my old monitor, and this is the new one. The frame is just super duper thin compared to the old one. So we have a HDMI in, HDMI out. This is the main part why I bought this monitor. And we have a SD card slot for a lot in all kinds of mounting point in. Uh, oh, and also we can power this monitor with the Type-C, USB Type-C. Just use your power bank to power a monitor. This is pretty cool. So at the back, you can use the Canon LPE6 battery or the Sony MPF battery to power up this monitor. And also you can use the 12 volt DC in to power up this monitor. So lots of power option. Wait a minute. So we have a smaller monitor. The entire monitor is smaller, but the screen size is bigger. What? <laughs> Mind blowing. So let's share with guys some cool functions about this monitor. So first one, I really love this very fast backlight control. So just really, really convenient because the old version, if you don't have a touch screen, everything will be very complicated. <laughs> you need to just keep pressing buttons to go into settings to change the backlight. But this, wow, this is super duper fast. So right now the monitor looks a little bit wrong. I have no idea. Right now it's at 6,500 Kelvin. This is most monitor should set at 6,500 Kelvin, but the color looks pretty wrong, like the Kelvin number is pretty, pretty high. So um, I found if you change the color temperature to user, the color looks um, better. <laughs> I don't know. If you want really, really accurate color, maybe you should just use hardware and calibrate and put some LUT inside this monitor to correct the monitor color, that kind of stuff. But out of the box, if you want a better color, just change the color temperature to user. So the monitor function is pretty much the same in 2022 because all kinds of waveform, all kinds of weird vector scope, anamorphic disk squeeze or kind that kind of weird function. Any freeze? Picture? Yeah, we have freeze picture. So pretty much the same. I have no idea. Maybe I just call out all the functions. So we have all waves, parade vector, histogram, focus assist, audio meter, the audio uh, right here, and zebra. Zebra just tell you um, any highlight clipping in your video. Monochrome. So you can use. Oh. <laughs> so we can choose between gray, green, red, green, blue. So just mono color. False color, you can check the exposure. But if your camera have that kind of exposure function, you should use the built-in camera function because these monitor, cheap monitor, these vector scope or these exposure helping function is just not that accurate. Q9 grid, <laughs> you can turn it on. Safety marker, center marker. Mm, center marker is pretty useful. Marker map, what is marker map? Okay, so yeah, different 
aspect ratio marker map hdr this hdr doesn't improve your dynamic range or what it just use kind of like put a log video and put a lot on there just built in lot the kind of stuff so we have high log gamma p3709 and and what 2020 yeah aspect ratio and morphic d squeeze 1.25 1 1.5 1.6 1.8 2.0 wow what the heck is this 2.0 magnification so auto mirror just turn your monitor upside down it will just turn your monitor upside down by itself zoom time what is zoom times just zoom in freeze freeze your image yep and pixel to pixel zoom in your footage just pinch your yeah this is pretty easy pretty straightforward pretty simple to use a monitor i really love this feel world ui because you have a quick manual to open all kinds of useful stuff you need to turn on and off all the time like all all wave you have vector scope waveform and all kinds of meters you need to use on set and vector vector just vector and parade just parade audio meter that kind of stuff histogram focus assist these awesome cool functions under so you can just quickly open and close these functions you don't need to double tap into the menu to change any settings this cool little little quick pop-up menu is pretty good another little stuff i want to point out because this monitor looks a little bit too saturated look at this uh video transmitter and transmit the video to my phone so this image in this image looks pretty different this monitor looks really really saturated look at my skin tone looks like i'm an orange it looks look at the video transmitter that image transmit to my phone oh yeah looks pretty natural but the monitor on the field world looks too saturated you just need to calibrate by yourself i think that's all about this monitor if you have more questions leave a comment below or maybe i will make a full review that kind of stuff in the future maybe so if you like this video press like make sure you subscribe my youtube channel to check out more video like this if you want to watch more unboxing and filmmaking equipment stuff check out this playlist my name is kaiwan and i will see you guys next time bye bye